The Nokia 925 is a brand new Lumia Windows phone with a 8.7 megapixel camera. It's a successor to the Lumia 920 and it aims to rival the photo taking ability of the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the HTC One. Let's take a look at its 4.5 inch touchscreen, sleek aluminium frame and of course that all important camera. So the Lumia 925 seems to be resting its fortunes on its 8.7 megapixel pure view camera with optical image stabilization. On megapixels alone, the Samsung Galaxy S4's 13 megapixel camera sensor bests the Lumia 925's 8.7 megapixel sensor. But when it comes down to photo stabilization technology, the results are roughly the same. In an effort to make sure you get the most out of the Lumia 925's camera, Nokia has developed a smart camera app. Now this basically means you can get a lot of photo trickery out of your snaps, including the ability to take lots of them at the same time and then edit them together however you like. There's also Ogle, which is a brand new app from Hipstamatic with the ability to post to Instagram, although it wasn't available to test on this phone we've got here. The most noticeable difference between the Lumia 925 and older Lumias in Nokia's range is its slimline aluminium casing. Now I preferred the bold, bright polycarbonate design which you found on the old Lumias purely because it stood out. You knew you had a Lumia phone on your hands. The Lumia 925 on the other hand looks very similar to phones like the HTC One, although it is a lot lighter and thinner than the previous phones in the Lumia range. The Nokia Lumia 925 features a 4.5 inch display with a 1280 by 768 pixel resolution. This puts it on par size wise with the Samsung Galaxy S4 and HTC One and it means it will be pretty good at displaying all the pictures you've taken with it. On the hardware front, the Lumia 925 borrows the Lumia 920's 1.5 GHz processor and 1 GB of RAM. This means it won't be the fastest phone on the market, but it won't be a slouch either. We'll see how it performs properly when we get it into our test labs. So overall, the Lumia 925 is striking because it really looks like a premium Android phone, except it's running Microsoft's Windows software. With Windows Phone, you won't get as many apps available or functionality-wise as Android or with Apple's iOS software, but it's not terrible to use overall. When it comes down to the Lumia 925's camera, I had quite a good time taking out on about and shooting some snaps. They were clear, crisp, and really looked nice on the screen. When it comes to the Lumia 925 smart camera app though, I was a little bit disappointed. Maybe not so much disappointed as I just didn't really have the opportunity to use it that much. When you're looking to take an action shot, you've got to be really quick taking your phone out, clicking on the smart camera app and then capturing what's in front of your eyes. Often, it will be gone before you even try to do that. This isn't necessarily the fault of a phone, you just probably won't get too much of an opportunity to use a smart camera app itself. What's most alluring about the Lumia 925 though is its price. You can get it for £500 SIM free or from around £30 a month on contract, which isn't bad, especially when a lot of premium Android phones will be available for a little bit more than that. So if you're in the market for a snazzy looking phone with a decent camera and some gimmicky features, then the Lumia 925 may just be the mobile for you. For all the latest smartphone news, head over to witch.co.uk forward slash technology.